peace, love, energy, and infinite light and infinite love to all my beautiful Niji people of Turtle Island. How are all my beloveds doing? How are everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing beautiful. Hope everyone's doing the due diligence. Hope everyone's doing that paper trail and getting that identity corrected and getting the proper identity corrected on that paperwork. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing beautiful. Hope everyone's days is lovely. Even though it's a rainy week, hope everyone is watering their plants, their crops, etc., etc. So, how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? I miss y'all. I miss y'all. Peace and love. Peace and love to everybody. It's, oh, there it go. That's what I was looking for, the little light thing on there. There it go. With just the light on it. Now, got a few questions. And I want you guys to answer them. All right. Feel free. Feel free to answer them in the comments. Feel free. All right. And oh, if you guys do not mind, please, 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 please subscribe, like, share, and feel free to comment. Y'all know I don't usually do this, but we're going to keep the party going because this information must get out. This information must get out because you know how these corporations are. They're going to try to violate, delete all of the thing, delete everything, and try to get me off the map. So, with that said, excuse me, I don't know how much longer we all got with this social media and this internet stuff, all right? So, if you guys can get any information about the truth out that you all can push this information all right the cia already banned me from fucking instagram and facebook so that was about eight years ago so i can't spread it on there like wildfire so it's up to you guys to push this information because i'm doing my diligence around my community and so forth so um wouldn't be a bad idea if y'all would help that would be great. I would be honored. And I would be truly grateful if you all did. Now, got a few questions for you all. Those that I know, I'm going to get these questions right. Those who don't get it right, you're going to get these answers. And you're going to learn something. Now, first question. Do you have a belly button? And if you do, you have a mother. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Quite simple. Common sense. Isn't that quite common? Now, Adam and Eve. If Adam had a belly button, did he have a mother? And who was his mother? Who the fuck was this guy's mother? Because if he had a belly button, he had a mother. Oh, 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 here comes the pastor. Oh, he doesn't have a belly button. That's not what the Bible says. Well, we're just, we don't speak about that. Anywho, the people who wrote the Bible were Freemasons and part of other occultic secret societies. Zenith occultists, Zionist occults. Now, understanding that, they go off Kronos, Baal, and Baphomet. So whenever they speak of God, they're not speaking of our God, our creator, our beautiful energy that's the planet, and our Mother Earth, Mother God. Mother energy that resides in us all. We are. You know? As within is without. As they say, what is above is below. But all is one and one is all. Without all, there is no one. Without one, there is no all. The alchemy of equivalent exchange. Now, understand this other question. Do you guys see the pattern? Check this out. Do you see the pattern of every certain time of year, every such and such year is a certain time they start a war? Do you see the pattern? Yes or no? 
put it in the comment. I think that was question number two. Question number three. It had to be question number three. Question. Answer the question. Just if you can, just answer it. Now, mass shootings. Don't you see they do that a certain time of the year? Every mass shooting. Answer the question. Just answer the question. It's okay. Answer the question. Just go ahead. Put it in the comments. Just answer it. I think that's question five, four or five. Oh, I'm going to lose count. That's what you guys are here to help with. Now, next question. Do you guys remember the Tahiti experiment? Yeah, Indian Wall Street, not Black Wall Street. Indian Wall Street. Yeah, that part. Do you guys understand what or when harvesting season is? Do you understand harvesting period? You know, the harvesting of souls, the harvesting of crops, the harvesting of babies, the harvesting of fruits and vegetables, the harvesting of melanated people, the harvesting of grains and nuts and other stuff you can plant, the harvesting of organs. You guys understand that concept, right? So, understanding that a certain time of the year, these evil deities do this thing called organ harvesting, soul harvesting, melanin harvesting, fear harvesting, energy harvesting, mental illness harvesting. <clears throat> we got one. Quarter harvesting. It's just harvesting season, you guys. It just, it, 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 they, they don't miss a beat. I can't see how you don't see this. Oh, it's another mass shooting. Oh, there's another mass shooting. Oh, okay. I know for a fact they're red flags. Now, to those beautiful souls who were sacrificed... I know for a fact this isn't as many as they say, but for those who were, if in some of these occasions there were soul sacrificed, my energy, heart, soul, love, and honor goes to those spirits, those souls, those entities, and their families. But knowing for a fact that these are planned CIA set hits, Puts it on a whole nother level. I, for one, know for a fact that I haven't held an oath to a secret society. I, for one, am not a Freemason. Not of the York, right? Not of the Scottish, right? Not as the created bullshit played out Prince Hall, and for the ladies they make fun of with the Eastern Stars. Not part of none of that. I never hold an oath. I never held an oath. I never signed my name in blood, any of that shit. So I don't have to hide anything, and I don't have nobody to answer to. So I'm going to tell it like it is. Rather you seek a society like it or not, I'm going to tell it like it is. Now, for the Rosicurians, the Rosicurians, Rosicurians, I don't give a damn if I say your name right or not. <clears throat> Rothschilds, Rockefellers, <clears throat> that demonic bitch queen of England. Please excuse my French if there's any babies watching this. But there's this is this is no 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 time no time to spare any feelings. 
Because it's a wrap. We know it all now. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. If you all are familiar with the Bohemian Grove over in California, oh, yeah, there's other meeting spots all over. All over. There's actually one over here in um, the Plate of Maryland. St. Mary's, Maryland. Southern Maryland. I'm just going to put it that way. Southern region of Maryland. They have another meeting spot, a lodge spot. Um, country club, needs to say. You know, where you do your 18 holes and one at. <laughs> yes, indeed. Where they have meetings. And once again, I never hold held an oath, so I don't. I'm not here to get bounded by any secrets. Of I'm telling like it is. I'm telling like it is. Now, the Bohemian Grove, the Bilderberg Group, have told you all for years. For years. They've told you all for years. The Bilderberg have told you all for years what they're going to do, what they have done. They told you they were going to try to lower vibrations to frequencies with mass shootings. They told you they were going to do lethal injections. Don't get the juice. They told you they're going to use propaganda. They told you they're going to use this created thing called religion. These created ideologies. They said they were going to use a food shortage. Ah, oh, man, they've been telling you all about the food shortage. So I, I swear for God, if you guys are, ah, you guys are shocked hearing about the baby formula and all this stuff going missing in the shit like, it wasn't a game when they said this shit was coming. I told you all years ago. Our ancestors are coming this year, 2022. I told y'all to get your frequencies and everything vibration right. Get everything right. Get every, hell, I don't even think my eyes is ready enough for it to come. I ain't going to hold you. But I told y'all to get right with your ancestors. Know your rightful ancestors so they can assist you through this whole spiritual shift, this whole paradigm shift. Where we're going to be able to feel and see our ancient ancestors, these other deities. And we're about to be able to see these. Whew. Good God, Ragla. I just, he's just, damn it. Any moment anxiety? Guys, you got to get over that fear right the fuck now. Because expect the unexpected. That's all I'm going to say. Don't let that anxiety, don't let your fear, don't let your, oh, I didn't know that existed. Don't let that shit freeze you up. Have you petrified or have you paralyzed where you're going to loaf or you're going to cause other people to fucking loaf. They're about to unleash some shit <laughs> that they've been showed you all in movies. But I'm not saying it to scare y'all. I'm just saying it to prepare y'all. I'm just saying it to get us ready. This shit is about to get so fucking unchy or something. And it's, uh, you can't even fucking fathom it. But the beautiful thing about this all is if you know who you are and you know the fucking warrior within you, the beast, the fucking animal within you, you're going to survive this. Your ancestors are going to see that. They're going to assist you. Now, if you curl up in the fucking corner somewhere looking for this fucking pedophile named Jesus Christ to come save you, they're going to devour your soul because that's what they want. <laughs> they want you to wait for some goddamn guy from Palestine to come on a magic carpet to get you. I, 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 I don't get it. I don't get it. None of that shit makes sense to me. I know that shit makes sense. They tried to trick me when I was little. I fought against it. I knew something about it. But this brings me back to this. This is the main question. I need you all to answer this in the comments. And if you cannot answer the question, please go look it up. 
Do you know who the Bilderberg Group is? And they're Jason Scholars. Fuck their Jason Scholars or the Jason Society. Do you know who the Bilderberg Group is? Look these fuckers up. They've been had in their paperwork, in their books, in their little prodigy, in their little, what they call it, little commandments about Russia. They've been wrote this out about Russia attacking Ukraine and all that. This has been planned out. This is they, years ago. Years ago. They've been on those going to do this. They just use these distractions while they slowly but surely abduct the children and suck the drilling clone straight out of them. That's just what the, this is what this is about. This is what's really running this planet right now. You guys are thinking these motherfuckers in these suits and ties is running the world. They're not running the fucking world. You know who's really running the world and this shit is just right there in your face and they're telling you every fucking day but you act like you don't see it. Pedophiles and child molesters, human traffickers, organ harvesters, evil fucking zenists, evil occultic motherfuckers. That's who's running it. Natural president. And you know who has their hand deep into this shit? The evil deity that's not even human. Not even human. Just look up. Look up the Pope's eyes. This fucker's not human. That's supposed to be the most holiest person on this planet. The hope, the Pope. <laughs> Might as well call it the hope for you motherfuckers. <laughs> Excuse me, the Lord's hope. Excuse me. The Pope. And you guys let rabbis just suck on baby penises and think that shit's okay. Go ahead and circumcise the baby's penis and let the rabbi go ahead and suck on it. Baby's getting hepatitis. Herpes, syphilis from these dirty fucking rabbis, but you guys just allow it. It's okay. I ain't get my son circumcised to tell you that much. Fuck that, dude. Mm mm mm. Find out where that shit came from. I said, ah. Yeah, unless I fucked up and they do enough research and our ancestors did that shit, ah, I can't see. Say that I'm going to let my baby boy go through that shit. Because I see who do that shit proudly. And I don't think I want to go and do what they do, buddy. Nope, oh, can't adopt foreign ideologies. Maybe the extra little skin's there for a reason. Maybe Mother God put that there for a reason. The creator put that shit there for a reason. You know? I mean, hey, I ain't got a turtleneck. But God damn it, man. My son got one and... I'm pretty sure it's for the best. Pretty fucking sure. So I'm definitely going to do more research on that, you know, because I'm not going to put them through that excruciating. Holy hell. All through their baby, don't remember, they won't remember it. Hey, fuck, dude, this shit. Hey, I ain't remember it, but, ah, dude, just that moment and seeing and experiencing that, I'm going to remember seeing that forever. So technically it's going to be like, damn, it's going to shockingly bring, bang, Bring back memories of like, damn, that's how it was done. Damn, that's what happened to me. Ah, shit. Damn, wow. I feel it now. Wow, that's where. Wow. So, hell no. Hell no. Couldn't circumcise baby boy. You got the turtleneck. Ancestors. Hope I did the right thing. I'm going to research it up a little bit more. Yeah. Well, I know I went with my first instinct. My first instinct was, yeah, but then I was like, nah, man, I can't have a little dude out here with a turtleneck. But then I was like, uh, his mother was like, no, it's natural. It's natural. I said, you're right. But, uh, you're right. But, uh, I said, yeah, fuck it. You know, you can't be actually a cleansy guy. Make sure you get all the cotton out of there. Make sure you get all the, all the sodium out of there. And you're good to go, little man. I'm helping them through that. But back to the topic at hand. Back to the topic at hand, dude. Do not trust these popes. Do not trust these rabbis. Do not t- trust 
these churches, these Catholics, these like I'm not just making this shit up, you guys. That's why anything, everything that I say, I pray. And I don't pray. It's kind of horrible to pray on some shit. But good, 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 good goodness. I hope that you guys don't believe anything I'm saying. Please look it all up. Please look it up. Please look it up. I hope y'all think I'm lying. Just look it up. That's all that I hope y'all do. Look it up. And you know, it's just like it's at the point where they really know how ignorant we as a people are. They really know how scared people are of the truth. How like people really fear what they don't know. So it's like ah. Got to make this shit entertaining and make it fun for them, you know? So as dire as it is, it's, it's, you can't. You know, you can't because this shit is so critical. Like, it should have been done 30 years ago. Type shit. That's how far back and how late we are. 100, 400 years back. Backed up. We should be so advanced right now, but we are allowing foreigners and foreign ideologies to pave the way for us, to pave us into our own graves. Guys, every four years, voting for motherfuckers who don't give two shits about you to help illegally immigrate their people on this thing, to flood us out. Because we definitely overwhelm them. There's enough of us. Don't ever think that, you guys. We definitely outnumber them. We definitely outnumber them. We have the people. We have the power. That's why your confidence level of this shit should be off the charts. Just, just understand, no one's rocking for this shit. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that's going to fold under pressure because pressure is either going to bust pipes or make fucking diamonds, dude. And that's a, oh, damn, that's a quote I'm going to live by. I work the best under pressure. Whew. Got to. You got to. Either you bend or you break. One of the two. One of the two. You got to learn how to, like, really get into agriculture. Really know how to plant. Really know when to start. Because once shit hits the fan, you cannot use these corporate items anymore. You cannot contract with these corporations anymore. They're going to leave us out to dry. How? As they're supposed to. We just got to have to pull up our boots. You don't need them. Stop looking for daddy. I know our people's been fucked up and we've been programmed and we've been destroyed and split apart to where a lot of us didn't really have a father figure in our fucking lives. You know, for us who did, got to be grateful and got to be humble and help those who didn't. And those who didn't, you got to understand you're not alone. You're not alone. So even some of the people who do got a father figure in their life, they didn't have the right father figure in their life. So they're basically in the same boat as the ones who don't have a father figure. But at the same time, just like the mothers and females, we cannot be out this motherfucker looking for a daddy. Can't be out here looking for a sky daddy to help. Can't be out here looking for a government to be your daddy. To, oh, guess get me through these affairs. Oh, help me with this. Oh, oh I need a no. We built the government. We govern ourselves. We created the shit to keep structure. And this motherfucker shit ain't keeping structure for us. We got to kick this shit back into place if not make our own. It's that simple. If we created this government and it got out of hand and it got out of our hands and it got into the wrong hands, we got to rebuild, redo it, start over. It's our land. Why not? Can't have somebody come in your house and tell you what you can and cannot do. That's letting them know you are their bitch. You are at their mercy. I don't even know why you got a fucking wife and kids. How are you raising them if you letting they tell you what to do? Who the fuck is they? Are they coming to your door with a pistol? Are they coming to the are they coming to your house every day chin checking you telling you, hey, you better do this, you better do that? Or are they just programming threats through television and paperwork and false policy paperwork. 
that you really don't know how to read. So they entangle you in that and incriminate you off the patents of the words that they got patents on, you know? That's all it is. You're just losing time of your life, rotting in jail, losing fiat dollar money through these corporate policies and through just the simple fact that they have certain patents on these words and marijuana, gun, firearm, weed, holy shit, driving a vehicle, you know? It's herb. Your indigenous herb, natural herb. Incriminate me for that. It's mine. It's natural. It's like me driving with a barrel of hay on the back of the car. You're going to incriminate me for that? Goes out the ground. Off our land. I got the right to bear arms. You wrote down the 1600 Constitution. And telling me I can't do that? I got the right to travel. It just so had happened. It's what? It ain't, what, 16, 15, 1400s no more. Yeah, I could have a horse, but these motherfuckers been involved like to the one horsepower, damn near 300, 300 horsepower. These are mechanical horses now. These are my private conveyance. Can't tell me I can't. It's my private property. You can't tell me I can travel on my private property. You know? You can never change the original law. So that's what they're about to do, or that's what they've been doing. Slowly but surely stripping you from your rights, stripping us from all your fucking rights. We're well, making us think that we don't have no rights. Telling if you so-called got this shit, then you can come take your children. Ha! Ha! Who's? Who's? Ha! Ha! That's the difference between, oh, I, uh, oh, I hope they don't, motherfucker, or, oh, I wish a motherfucker would, motherfucker. They're, those are the two different people in this world that you need to put yourself in either that or that. Not in the boxes, but you got to say, yeah, that I'm that or uh, uh, I'm sadly that. Uh, it's either that. you either that motherfucker in the corner saying, oh, I hope that doesn't happen to me. Or you that motherfucker on top of the motherfucker bill and say, I wish a motherfucker would. I wish that motherfucker would. Like, yeah, you got something for the ass, right? That part. Don't be that. Don't be that guy. Be that guy. Don't be that. Uh, don't be that guy over there. Be that guy. Up fucking there. We all got. Y'all all got it in y'all. We all got it in us. Definitely do. You just gotta understand, overstand who you truly are. Trillions of ancestors running through your veins, running through your blood, running through your soul, through your spirit, charging you right now, charging you forever. Because the consciousness lives forever. Your energy lives forever. Your spirit lives forever. This, this, this goddamn avatar dies. Yes. Yes, indeed. This, this little fleshy thing dies. But the spirit lives on. So, when it's about that time, because they're trying to push it. They're definitely trying to push it. We got to push back. We got to push back. We got to push back. Because they're not playing. All this shit, the Blue Beam Project, they're going to try to push that shit. To, when you really do see these certain deities in the skies, know, you're going to know, you're going to feel, because you're going to get the butterflies, you're going to know that's your ancestors. For the other shit that you're going to see, you're going to know the, the reverse engineered crash by the CIA. So when that shit pop off, please know and understand that. When that shit pop off, you're going to start seeing them try to make... Um, they're going to try to up harp a little bit and do these other little, they have earthquake machines. They're going to try to fuck up the surface terrain, fuck up the surface and try to play out the Bible. They're going to try to play out the revelations. China, like, they just made water in China, like, red or some shit like that. It's kind of red, how they said in the um, revelations. Oh, they're trying to play out the revelations. That's what they're doing. They're trying to make, like, oh, it's coming to an end because their end is coming to an end. And our news is about to come to a beginning. We're about to start upgrading and upping it on their ass. All this bullshit, these, these lies, this fake-ass foreign government, the United States Corporation, who's really ran off the royals, ro ran under the royals' crown of the Queen of England. All that shit's about to come to a halt. All that shit's coming to an end. Too many people find out about that bullshit. They're losing power. We're about to stand up and grab this motherfucker's by the short and curlies.
And you guys got to be ready. You got everybody has their shot in life. I don't give a damn who you are. Everybody gets that chance in life to be that and do that for them to make their bloodline legendary. This is your time. This is it. You finding out who your family is, you helping your family, teaching them how to survive, teaching them how to hunt, teaching them how to use the bow and arrows, teaching them how if you run out of ammunition, use a machete or a katane. Learn how to breathe in the nose, out the mouth, stay nibble on your toes when you're at work, when you're relaxing and resting back on your heels. But when you're at war or at play or you're at hunting or you're at training, stay on your toes, just like football, lowest man, quickest man always win. Teaching how to be nimble, teaching everybody the basic aspects, the original aspects of our ancestors. Not this new bullshit. We ain't come from no motherfucking slave. We had empires and all kinds of shit all way before that shit. Don't think you started from fucking Kuta Kente stories, man. Come on, man. We ain't come on no funky ass Amistad, man. Stop playing, man. You believe that shit, you are spitting and pissing on your ancestors and everybody ever fucking died for you, bruh. On God, we ain't from no goddamn Africa. Stop disrespecting your ancestors like that and find out who the fuck you are and on everything. Everything you know, you love, and who you truly are. Find out who you are. You cannot die stupid. A lot of people are dying dumb. A lot of people are dying stupid. Don't be that guy. Damn it, don't be that guy, man. Don't be that guy over there. Oh, well, Jesus is going to help me. I don't got to do shit. Your daughter looking up at you. Looking at the truth and looking up at you. They're looking at the world like, damn, my daddy about to wait on some imaginary sand, man. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Y'all keep waiting on this goddamn sand man with the motherfucking sandals, bruh. Stop it, man. Your asses are already ready right here, ready to ready to pop off with you. And you saying fuck them, you're going over here to the sand man. Nah. Fuck Jesus, dude. Leave them Palestinian beliefs alone. Our home is here. The Incas, the Mayan, the Aztecs. All right, we've been at war with the United States Corporation since the 1400s. These motherfuckers ain't stopped. They about to stomp on shit right now, and y'all need to get ready for it. It could got a regular, you know. You just, there's going to be no choice. You're going to have, it's going to be a point where there's no choice. And you just got to let your adrenaline be your energy. Let your adrenaline just be your battery through it. Don't freeze up. You cannot freeze up. That's what I'm saying. Whatever you got to do, practice now. Walk on a little edge of rocks, you know. Play, do little daredevil things. Jump, like, just just heighten and strengthen your mental, you know. Get war ready. Get survival ready. It's no time to be lazy. We ran out of time. It's too late to say I didn't know. Do not have the luxury. We do not have the luxury of saying, I didn't know. We really don't. If you think you got that to fall back on, you're fucked. Because it's at the point where, yeah, it's, it's a wrap. These policy enforcers, they call police. If you don't know by now, they was built from slave catchers, Indian catchers. They created them. The clan created them. So for all our all these melanated people becoming policy enforcers, um, police officers, I don't know why. I don't know why. They're, so, they're here, they created to, they're trained to illegally call you state property and violate you. They're literally trained to get sued. They're, Every time they put that badge on, they go in these streets and they do not enforce peace and they try to police the people, they do not police the people. And when they tried to police the people, 
they are risking lawsuits on them physically. Well, not physically, but them personally. And then a lien being slapped on the department. Every time they come out here and come in contact with a motherfucking Niji American Indian. I, 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 don't, I don't even like saying American Indian no more, you guys. It's like, yeah, oh, man. Because just the English language itself is a cursed language. It's hard for me to even keep speaking this language knowing what I've done to my people. But it's what we got right now for this communication right now. It's what we got right now. So that's what we're going to rock with. Damn it, it's hard for me to get this out of my tongue because words just get in the way. Words really just get in the way. They're not playing with us. So why the fuck are we playing with them? So just know we have people also in the CIA. We have people in the military. We have people in the, what you call that, hospital system, medical field. We got we have whistleblowers. That's we have people in the Bilderberg, these city societies, high up in the pyramid, to the lowest in the pyramid. We have people. Yeah, we cannot show them our hand, but just knowing that lets you know it's not a fucking game. These people are risking their lives. There's a lot of people dying telling us this shit. But you all are missing this shit. Y'all are missing the William Coopers. <laughs> y'all are missing the motherfucking... Eh, she ain't really... Eh, she draws some gems, but y'all are missing these people, even their own people. They're killing their own people for spitting them, for spitting the gem. When Joan Rivers said, when they asked her, hey, are we ever going to have a gay president? Her little pale lad turned around and said, we already do. Barack Obama. She wasn't lying. They killed Joan Rivers for exposing that Michelle Obama is really Michael Obama or some shit like that. Oh, yeah, that was another question I put a Ben told y'all to ask y'all in the beginning. Have y'all ever seen a picture of Michelle Obama pregnant? Oh, oh shit, don't worry, I'll wait. Oh wait. Matter of fact, I'm gonna wait so long. Y'all just let me know in the next video or in this comment on this video. Let me know. Leave a picture or leave a comment or leave a link if you ever seen Michelle Obama pregnant. Ah, uh, don't give me that all. Oh, well, that's the president's wife. So they gotta be secretive. You don't wanna he didn't wanna show his wife. It was it was privacy. You know, it's privacy. It's it's well, no, well, no, those some big girls. They, he definitely wasn't president at the time she was pregnant. They really wasn't that big. Yeah, they was in the government, but they weren't that big. So anyway, like I was saying, all these presidents related to the Queen of England. If you don't know anything, you should know that. You know? So, just know the Soviet Union. Definitely found some shit in Antarctica. Our ancient shit, to be exact. You know? So let's just get ready to resurrect these giants. <laughs> let's get ready to resurrect these giants, you guys. I know you see the petrified dragons, these petrified giants. That shit is real. That shit is real. Pan's Labyrinth, all these mystical movies they're made, like even Positive Caribbean. Shit is real. We have massive creatures on this planet that you probably never know existed. Some creatures you probably will never know existed, and you never will. We never will. Because all the shit they're hiding, all the other lands that they're hiding. The inner earth. But I don't know, because so much is being exposed at a, such a high rate. And the more that be exposed and the more technology is coming out, the faster it's just coming out. So and we have damn it, I cannot thank the whistleblowers enough. We have so many whistleblowers that's in these secret societies and this high up in these ranks. Just generals. It's just like they're waiting for us. Everybody's waiting for us. 
other countries are like, bruh, it's, what the fuck? So 9-11 didn't tell y'all? I thought we was about to... I thought he was about to check these motherfucking, these motherfucking elites. I thought he was about to check all these sick inside his queen, the queen and them right there when y'all did that. I thought y'all was gonna figure out it was bullshit when they did 9 11. But nobody. Everybody was still dumb, da dum, dum, dum. And then the people who did want to do something, they was none. They couldn't. They was Nick. They was Nick, Nick, Nick. They Nick, Nick, Nick. They couldn't do anything. That's probably scary. Well, if I do it, no one else wanna do it. That's the thing. We gotta attack at once. There's no one leader. There is no one leader. You have to lead your tribe. You have to lead your tribe. All minds must get together to find out which is the greater to help lead. Everyone has their own certain gift. Some people are better than certain people that are leading. Let that be the motherfucking leader. Remember? That same came from us. Too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Come on, y'all. Shit, everything came from us. They don't want us to know that. Every, all these new inventions. Fuck no, we been invented that shit. That's from us. They just took credit. They just invented diseases and patents. That's it. That's it. Diseases and patents to claim everything. So now they're about to put it all at works. Yes, they do have these, um, how can I say? They do have some good weapons. I ain't gonna hold you. Don't be afraid though. Yeah, they do have the MK Ultra and they do have these frequency wave weapons. But be it's all right. We have people on the inside there too that ain't gonna let that shit rock. All right. We got people that's like, nah, bro, this shit ain't. Y'all want to run the world and do what? For the who? They're not human, so huh? But, hold on, we're not too, but, uh, oh, but huh? Yeah, shit gets real, shit gets real, shit gets real. Just understand. Oh, man. I think there's a reason why I I grew up where I grew up, and I was fortunate enough to run into the people I ran into, you know? There's 68, probably more by now, but at the time, 68 floors underneath the Pentagon. Oh, man. The underground. Because I did tell you, my father did used to be a CEO at Lorton. So the, because they used to have to transport, there were certain underground tunnels where they, can transport certain, like, it's high, there's certain criminals. Like, if y'all seen, like, they put it in the movie, they put it on the show. If y'all seen the show, The Blacklist, you got your little regular, everyday, little winky dink criminals, but then you got your elite criminals, the real live owners of the human trafficking, the owners of several cartel groups, and the people who run fucking spirit cooking shops, and people who run multi trillion dollar organ harvesting but it's like when you watch the blacklist it shows you a little taste about the real criminals and if they do get caught how a lot of people can't know where they're at type shit because other cartels will try to get them out type shit like you seen in that movie SWAT when dude said I give whoever give me out 10 million dollars or 100 million dollars whoever breaks me out Whoever freed me, whoever freed me out of jail, I'll give you $10 million. He said it on national TV. So all the drug cartels, all the guerrillas, all the mafias, all the gangs and shit was like, oh, bruh, let's try to break this nigga out and get this bag. So they, everybody was trying to real life shoot at and get at the swap just to get at the little fella and get that bag. Same thing in that scenario. It's like, Oh man, this shit is deep. So the tunnels where they can transfer from people all the way from DC to New York to Philadelphia. Fuck, man. And over there in Delaware, that's so called the first state. But it's also like that's the first place the Rothschild and the royal families like landed type shit. That's where they first set up house. 
over in Delaware. So to this day, the royal family's headquarters and shit is right there. Then they ride out over here to the Scottish Rite Masonic Free Masonic Temple and a little rituals at night, three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> if you guys are around DC at that time, preferably uh, April <laughs> when the equinox is changing. But yeah, like the monument in DC is exactly fucking 13 blocks away from the Scottish Rite Masonic Temple because the number is like 13, 32, you know, 33. It's shake is deep. The whole, it's the whole alchemy circle around the District of Columbia, around my city. Poor thing. And then you got the whole Capitol Hill is the, the Isle of Moloch. So, damn, dude. And was it New York Ave is the one that, or Pennsylvania Ave is the one that go, I think it's New York Ave, the one that go always, it's a street that go to New York or some shit like that. Or is it Pennsylvania Ave? One of them streets go all the way to New York, man, because it's like all that shit perfectly lines up. And the person who, like, like architected the Freemason ass dude, I think his name was Pierre Lafont. So I'm like, damn, it's pretty, pretty, pretty pretty fucking wicked it's him and me got the same name pierre so I was like wow it's crazy so that mean i must have had to find that out that these motherfuckers real life created alchemy circles in my fucking city or not my city our city our it's not even our fucking city our land goddamn concrete jungle but it definitely was our city before that. We had empires and shit, pyramids and mounds and shit. They done knocked all that shit down, built all this concrete bullshit. We had nature. Nature was our fucking empires, too. We actually built our, like, homes and shit out of earth, out of clay. That shit, the structure that was actually, like, limestone. The shit that actually last, you know? All this brick and wood shit. That's primitive to what we used to build. Shit now is fucking, this shit is ragdoll to what we used to build. Mm, mm, mm. Our structures, even to this day, still stand. When you look over there, the some of these ancient sites, Machu Picchu, Guatemala, Antarctica, these three pyramids in Antarctica. Beautiful pyramids. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Bigger than the um, ones of Giza that your uh, Africans keep hyping up. The pyramids in Africa are the youngest pyramids too. Like Giza's babies. Giza, the pyramids of Giza, they're babies compared to the ones over here in America. We got thousands in America. Over there in Africa, we we went over there. We tried to build them. We only got up to like what 80, 90s, or like one hundred and six. But there's hundreds of thousands over here in America, man. We have fun building them things. We build them things like we build sandcastles. You hear me? We were just that one with the land, that one with the kinetic energy, that one. We like telekinesis, all that shit, dude. First sign of communication was tele telepathic, you know, telepathically. Then we upgraded to sign language, and then later on, our indigenous tongue. You know, we used to speak with the animals, had different tongues, different different vibrations, different frequencies. We used to communicate with nature. Still can. Shake your but one with nature. Get your shoes off. Get your socks off. Walk on this ground. Walk on this grass. Go into the woods. Become one with the trees. Climb a tree. Hug a tree. Hold a tree. Sleep under a tree. Hold a tree. Love it. Love nature. Kiss a flower. Kiss a tree. Help it feed an animal. Get back one with mother. The further you get away from her, the worse. All right, you guys, we're going on almost 50 minutes. I hope this thing posts. I hope this thing posts. If it don't, fuck it, dude. I do all this shit comes from my comes from the heart. It's not scripted. None of this shit is scripted. I don't sit back and be like, all right, what I'm going to talk about today. No, I just go. I just, just, just do it. Whatever the ancestors want me to speak about, I just speak about. Sometimes it might sound like a broken record, but I guess the ancestors wanted me to repeat that again because either it's a new person listening or somebody needed to hear that again to really understand it. So, you know, I'm sorry if I do sound like a broken record, but definitely, definitely June, July 11th, link up everybody having the first big meeting 
July 11th. Make sure you all know the rest of the details, but definitely July 11th. Anybody and everybody wants to come, we're going to link up. We're going to really talk about really doing some shit, you know, really building, really starting to do what we need to do, helping people do the genealogy, helping people get the paperwork together. Just everybody just get together, vibe, have fun, love each other, vibe, you know, and just really just start pushing, doing what we really got to do because the time of pussyfooting is over. It's time to really get this shit started. It's time to really step on this shit, man. Like I said, they ain't playing with us, so why the fuck are we playing with them? They on our ass, so we got to get on their ass. It's not a game, y'all. It's not a game. We really got to start stepping up. It's enough talking. It's enough being behind the computers because we have so many people that done put in so much work. So many people out here that done did they do the thing, that did they travel and that didn't did their history, that knows what's going on out here, you know? And they're really really ready also and i don't know what else to say about that but please you guys look at them and just use them as like a blueprint to like their energy and their vibration the freeze it and understand like it's possible and you're not alone out here you're not the only one that knows what's really going on out here there's more people that know and there's more people that really want to do something about it who done talking about it and this is it, you guys. This is fucking it, man. Just use all that adrenaline and excitement. Put all the minds together and let's do this, man. Let's just, this, 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 this is it. This is it. Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to lead by example. Why not be you, you know? You know? You're your own hero, your own superhero, your own story. So everyone link up. Over here in Washington, D.C., July 11th. Let me know. Let me know. I'm going to let you all know the other details of it. Everybody pull up. Pull up. It's going to be love. It's going to be energy. It's going to be information. And it's just going to be the next step. The next step of success. The next step of beauty. The next step of life. This next step of what we always knew what this world was supposed to be about. What we knew life was supposed to be. Because we grew up knowing, hold on, bro, this isn't life. This shit, this ain't right. I'm not about to spend 13 years of my life being programmed in this concentration camp. Then spend 30 to 60 years of my life as an indentured servant to a corporation who don't give a fuck about me. If I'm getting sick or if my child is fucked up at the home, I'm going to lose this fucking plantation job anyway. Until when I'm old, I got to Go in a nursing home where they make money off me or I fucking die and they make $35,000 on my funeral. So it's like, damn, they make money off me since I'm born and they control me since I'm born. So when I die, fuck no, that's not life. That's not life. Life is what you make it. Life is what mother made it. Life is what the hell nature is living. Let's get back to nature, y'all. I love you all. I know for a fact. There's nothing but a beautiful future ahead of us. Yes, we got to go through hell. We got to go through the rain. We got to go through hell to get to heaven, as they say. But fuck it, dude. I be goddamn if my children got to live this lie, live this bullshit. If I got to be the sacrifice for the future, fuck it, so be it. I just, God damn it, I better not go out in vain. God damn it. I'm going out. Going out for my same race. Going out with a bang. So we all we got, y'all. I don't I don't know how else to say this, dog. We are all we got. No one is gonna do this shit for us. There's no sit back waiting for no government, waiting for, oh well, let's see what the next president do. No, you are the next president. You are your own governor. You govern your own affairs. So you gotta hold, we gotta hold these fuckers accountable. God damn it. Like, I got to find out this next meeting. I just seen the lovely meeting. I had, like, downloaded the Zoom. It was a Zoom. I had to download the Zoom for one of these little little hall meetings, little town meetings. And I guess I got to change my name or something because they would not let me in the little waiting room for shit. I had made a little account. It took me, like, an hour to do that because they had to make me keep changing the password. So I said, damn, dude. It's fake as shit. 
you can't even step into these buildings because they, you know, they don't want, you know, woo de woo, you know, uh, you know. So I can't even step in these buildings for real, for real, because they think the whole woo de woo real. And, you know, everybody already know that shit cap. So, you know, and once again, don't get the fucking juice. Don't get the juice. So, this, but I did see there was a uh, one town hall meeting down Indian Head. Down Indian Head, Maryland. I think they're supposed to change the name too to Piscataway Highway. So, shout out to my Piscataway tribe. Hey, all my people can, you know, can in that tribe too. So, with that said, you guys, peace, love, energy, infinite light. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to get more in the details of what's really about to go down, you guys, because I'm trying to find a way to say it without actually, I don't want to give away too much shit, because you can't tell the enemy every fucking thing. I don't want to give us away, so just no confidence is just things you can't wipe the fuck off, you know? So once you understand who your ancestors are, just know you're going to be connected. They're going to keep giving you the answer. They're going to keep giving you the clue to what the next thing to do. So just understand who you are. Don't let no foreigner tell you who the fuck you are. We ain't from goddamn Africa. Understand that. Know that. Damn it. My grandmother, my great grandmother, my mother, my great great grandmother, they all died on this. So I mean, whoa, shit. Oh, not died, but they're all on this soil. They live and died on this soil. Sorry, Queens. Holy shit. My mother's still living, dude. But anyway, like I was saying, you guys, peace, love, energy, and infinite light. I love you all, you guys. Please understand. This is not a game, you guys. So July 11th, we all got to link up. If you don't want to link up, it's okay. I'm going to record a little event thing. Whoop -de -whoop. It's going to be the first of many. Just got to pop it off to see how it is. Um, if 100 people show up, that's dope. 1,000 people show up, that's doper, man. You know, 10 people show up, that's even cool. If three people show up, fuck it, man. Hey, we want to make that feel like 3 million. As long as someone or some child is learning something new, that's all that matters. Even if I could touch one person, just, just touch one soul, one mind, one heart with the truth, that's all that matters. So that means one person can tell another person. It could be a ripple effect. So with that said, y'all, peace, love, energy, and light. Get ready. Um, I know July is probably like a busy time for everybody because of that fake holy day that they got, you know, the 4th of July, Independence Day. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Because a lot did the real Independence Day, that shit deeper than what the fuck they say. You no, know, it was a lot of wars back then with Indians and a lot of other like melanated Irish was over here hoping out and it gets deep. It gets deep, bro. It gets deep. You know? I love all on the planet. Shout out to everybody. But you guys know who you are, who don't fuck with the American Indians. You guys want our land and you don't respect our people or our women. So, hey, let the universe handle y'all, sort y'all out while we protect ours. You dig what I'm saying? You know, we gonna do what we gotta do. We some wild Indians, wild and free. So with that said, peace, love, energy, and light. Shout out to everybody, Dark Man X. Keep doing your thing, man. Good God, man. Shout out to all the Iowaks. Hey, shout out New York. Shout all the Haitians down in Haiti. Shout out to all the Zos out in Florida. Shout out to all the Hawaiians. Shout out to everybody in Jamaica. All the island Indians. Shout out to all my beautiful Niji people in America. Shout out to Phoenix Moon, the goddess, the empress. Keep doing your thing. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop. Shout out to Light Bear. Shout out to the indigenous one. Shout out to brother. Good God, that military vet there. Shout out to James Branch. Brother right there letting y'all know some good shit. He letting y'all know some good shit. Y'all subscribe to him, like his channel too. Holy fuck, dude. Share all that. Because the way he talking, they scared of that. They scared of that. They scared of the military. They scared of the warrior Indians. Man, and woody woo, shout out Star Strike, man. 
Shout out Cherokee to Lou. Man, shout out everybody, man. Shout out uh, Mad Vibe. Shout out everybody. Shout out Iowa Nation, man. Shout out him too, man. He's putting it down with the law. He's putting it down. If you guys really want to get into the law and really be well-versed in the law, check that out. This thing's going over an hour, so I don't know how much more I got, man. But a shout out to everybody, man. I love you all, man. Shout out to Tasha X. Holy mother Mary. Tasha X, you keep holding it down. Keep doing your thing, bro. Shout out to everybody doing it for the American Indian. Shout out to everybody doing their thing. Shout out to Enoch. Enoch. Oh, man. Shout out to Enoch, dude. I don't know if you know you're indigenous or not, but I think Jehovah Witness is holding you back from that. But with all due respect, dude, no, no shade, no um, disrespect to what you believe in. Because your culture, your ancestors saying, come home, buddy. They're saying, come back to Turtle Island. They're saying, come back. And then who am I forgetting, man? Man, just everybody, man. Just mad love to everybody. All my subscribers, especially, you guys know, without you, I'm nothing. Without you, we are nothing. Without you... Well, you guys will always be something. But without you guys, I'm nothing. I can't get the word out. I can't do... No one would even look at these videos if it weren't for you guys. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. With all my heart, thank you. I love you all. We're going to keep doing this thing, man. Shout out to my family. Shout out to everybody that love me. Shout out to everybody that loves nature. Shout out to everybody that loves life. You know, shout out to everybody that's, you know, living their life. Shout out to everyone who's loving their family, protecting their family, and just living how... It's supposed to, not what they're told to. So with that said, one love, y'all.